Hi, welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm going to look at a very interesting problem of International Mathematic Olympiad of, 19, of 1977, okay? Problem number four. So, for all the numbers uh, A, B, and capital A and capital B are the real numbers, we have f of theta equal to 1 minus a cosine theta minus b sine theta minus a capital A cosine 2 theta minus capital B sine 2 theta. If we have this condition, if f of theta superior or equal to 0 for all the numbers theta, the question prove uh, a square plus b square inferior or equal to. The question number 2, the capital A square plus the capital B square inferior or equal to 1, okay? So now I'm going to start solving this problem. Go ahead, pause this video and give the try to this problem and keep watching the full solution, okay? So now I'm going to start solving this problem now. So as you see, we have f of theta equal to 1 minus a cosine theta minus b sine theta minus capital A multiply by cosine to theta minus capital B sine to theta. So I'm going to prove the first question, okay? So I'm going to calculate, as you see here, f of theta plus pi over two, okay? Equal to one minus a cosine theta plus pi over two, okay, minus b sine theta plus pi over 2, okay, minus capital A cosine 2 theta plus uh, pi, because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just multiplying number 2 by pi over 2 is giving me 2, two, two theta plus pi, okay, minus B sine 2 theta plus pi, okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to distribute this one now. So I have f theta plus pi over two. Okay. So as as you see here, I'm going to apply the the first identity. We have cosine theta plus phi, which is cosine theta multiplied by cosine phi minus sine theta multiplied by sine phi. So this one it will be I will have cosine theta multiplied by cosine pi over two, which is uh, zero, okay, uh, with a minus sign, with minus sign, as you see here, I have become plus, okay, I will have the other one, sine theta multiplied, uh, I will have sine theta multiplied by sine pi over 2, sine pi over 2 is number 1, so sine pi over 2 equal to 1, so I will have 1 plus a sine theta, okay, the second term, or my, minus b, okay? So sine theta plus pi over 2, I will have sine theta multiplied by cosine pi over 2, which is 0, because cosine pi over 2 e equal to 0, okay? Plus cosine theta multiplied by sine pi over 2. Sine pi over 2 in number 1, I will have minus b cosine theta, okay? Minus this one, I have cosine to theta multiplied by cosine pi, which is minus 1 with this minus 1 it become plus a uh, a cosine to theta the other term the other term will be 0 because we have we'll have sine to theta multiplied by sine pi sine pi equal to 0 so i will have last term minus b i have sine to theta multiplied by cosine pi cosine pi is minus 1 with this minus 1 it become plus okay but with a sine to theta, okay? The other term will be zero. The other term will be zero because I will have uh, cos uh, cosine to theta multiplied by sine pi, sine pi equal to zero, okay? Now I'm going to add the first equation and second equation, okay, to see what's giving us. Here always superior equal to zero, superior equal to zero for all renumbered theta, okay? because we have the, the condition of, the, of theta superior or equal to zero, okay? I'm going to add the first equation and second equa equation to see what's giving us. 
if you take a look at the last last term we have minus capital B sine to theta with this capital B sine to theta if you add them together it will be cancelled out because the first one will, is a minus sine the other one is a, is a plus sine so the same thing with cosine to theta we have minus capital A to cosine to theta with this plus A capital A cosine to theta will be zero so I will all this so I will have only these terms left okay so now I'm going to add them together f of theta plus f of theta plus or remember theta okay so now I'm going to I'm going to put the cosine theta as a common factor for the first term and the sine theta will be the common factor for the second term okay. now I'm going to rewrite this expression on this form so 2 minus square root of 2 times a square plus b square okay multiply by a plus b over square root of 2 times a square plus b square plus multiply by cosine theta plus a minus b over square root of 2 times a square plus b square multiplied by sine theta okay always superior or equal to zero I'm just putting square root of 2a square plus b, b square outside as a multiplier okay if you distribute this one again okay I will have the same I will have the same expression okay so now there is some alpha okay as a, as a number such as cosine alpha equal to a plus b over square root of 2a square plus b square okay implies sine alpha equal to a minus b over square root square root of 2 times a square plus b square okay why why sine alpha equal to a minus b over square root of 2 a square plus b square because we know cosine square alpha plus sine square alpha equal to number one i'm going to verify this one cosine square alpha equal to this one i'm going to replace a plus b plus b square remember i will have the same denominator for both terms so cancelled out because we we have plus to a b and minus to a b i have a square plus b square and the second term i have a square plus b square which is two times two times a square plus b square over the same denominator to a square plus b square which is number one okay so this identity is verified now i'm going to apply this one by replacing uh, a plus b over square root of 2 a square plus b square by uh, with cosine alpha and then also the second term a minus b over square root of 2 times a square plus b square with sine alpha okay so now my equation become 2 times minus square root of 2 a square plus b square okay multiply by this one i'm going to replace this one with this one which is cosine alpha multiply by cosine theta okay a minus b over square root of 2 times e square plus b square which is sine alpha okay <laughs> multiply by sine theta okay so i'm going to i'm going to, i'm going to ask you what is this okay so now i have cosine alpha multiplied by cosine theta plus sine alpha multiplied by sine theta 
So what is this expression? This one equal to this one, cosine alpha minus theta, okay? Which is 2 times minus square root of 2 a square plus b square, okay? Multiply by cosine theta minus alpha, okay? So cosine theta minus alpha or cosine alpha minus theta is the, is the same thing because cosine because cosine alpha or cosine theta is an even function. So this one is always superior or equal to zero. Okay. So I'm going to uh, as you as you see here. By the way, I'm going to replace theta by alpha. Okay. I will have two times my square root of two a square plus b square. Okay, cosine theta minus theta, which is cosine theta minus theta, which is cosine zero, cosine zero equal to number one. Okay, so I will have two times my square root of two times a square plus b square. Okay, cosine uh, zero equal to one, so it will be have superior or equal to zero. Okay, so I'm going to put this one. So this one I will have two times. I'm going to I'm going to bring this square root of two times a square plus b square to the other side. I will have two times superior. I will have two two superior equal to square root of two a square plus b square. Okay. So now I'm going to raise number two as a power on both sides i will have four superior or equal to a square plus b square okay now i'm going to simplify by number two uh, on both sides so i will have two superior or equal a square plus b square that's mean a square that's mean a square plus b square inferior or, or equal to number two okay So the first question is proved. Now I'm moving on to the second question. Okay. I'm going to prove capital A square plus the capital B square inferior or equal to one. Okay. So I have a f of theta equal to one minus a cosine theta minus b sine theta minus capital A cosine two theta minus capital B sine two theta superior or equal to zero. I'm going to to calculate. I'm going to. I'm going to evaluate f of theta plus pi, okay? To see what's the expression. So I, have, I will have 1 minus a cosine theta plus pi minus b sine theta plus pi minus a cosine 2 theta plus 2 pi, okay? Minus b capital B sine 2 theta plus 2 pi okay so now I'm always superior or equal to 0 okay so always superior or equal to 0 so now I'm going to distribute this one I have number 1 minus a cosine theta plus pi which is cosine theta multiplied by cosine pi which is minus cosine theta with this minus become plus the other two the other the other term will be zero because we have sine th plus th sine theta multiplied by sine pi sine pi equal to zero so i will have a cosine theta okay minus b sine theta multiplied by cosine cosine pi which is minus one with this minus it will become plus plus sine theta okay the other term may have cosine 2 theta multiplied by cosine 2 pi cosine 2 pi which is uh, which is 1 so I will have cosine 2 theta minus capital A cosine 2 theta 
The other term, the other term will be zero because we have sine two theta multiplied by sine two pi. Sine two pi is equal to zero. Okay, so this one, capital A minus capital A, A cosine two theta. The last term I will have sine two theta multi multiplied by cosine two pi. Cosine two pi is number one. Uh, one multiplied by sine two theta will, will we, we will have minus capital B sine. To theta because the other term will be zero because we will have cosine to theta multiplied by sine to pi sine to pi will be zero okay so now always superior equal to zero what I'm going to do now I'm going to add the first equation and second equation to see what's the expression okay so B sine theta will be cancelled out and also a cosine theta it will be cancelled out as well because we will have 1 plus 1 equal to number 2, okay? Uh, plus a cosine theta minus a cosine theta, theta, which is 0. b sine theta minus b sine theta equal to 0. So I will have minus a minus capital A cosine to theta plus minus capital A cosine to theta, which is minus to the capital A cosine to theta minus 2 to capital B sine to theta, okay? As you add first equation and second equation, okay? Now, I'm going to bring these two terms to the other side, okay? And number 2 will be stay on the left side. So number 2, superior or equal to 2 to the capital A cosine to theta plus 2 B sine to theta now number two will be cancelled out because we have number two on the left side and number two on the right side okay so this one will have one superior or equal to capital a cosine to theta plus b capital b sine to theta okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply square root of a square plus b square okay multiply by a over square root of a square plus b square cosine to theta plus capital b over square root of a square plus b square sine to theta okay so if you distribute this one again you will have the same thing we will get we will go back to the same expression that you have before this one so now what i'm going to do i'm going to do the sum substitution here so there is some beta as a real number such as uh, cosine beta equal to capital a over a square plus b square okay and all this one implies sine beta you will have capital b over square root of a plus b square okay because we have we know sine square beta plus cosine square beta equal to number one if i'm replacing this one in this expression I will have number one okay so because sine theta sine beta square which is b square over a square plus b square plus a square over a square plus b square okay as we have before so this one I will have the common denominator I'm I'm going to put a square plus b square as a numerator over a square plus b square as a common numerator uh, as a common de denominator so this one equal to number one so these two equations okay are verified this equation okay so now I'm going to replace cosine beta in this expression and sine beta in, in the same expression okay so now I will have Number one, superior or equal to a square 
the kappa a squared plus kappa b squared okay a over square root of a kappa a square plus b square equal to cosine cosine beta so which is cosine beta multiplied by cosine to theta okay plus kappa b over square root of a kappa a square root of a square plus b square which is sine beta okay multiply by sine to theta I want you to tell me what is this okay this one is a cosine to theta minus beta okay so now I have one superior equal to square root of a square plus b square okay multiply by cosine to theta minus beta I'm going to replace theta by uh, I'm going to replace to theta equal to beta to see what's the expression I will have number one superior or equal to square root of a square plus b square multiply by cosine to theta minus to theta okay I'm going to put this one at the top to make it more clear okay this square root of a square plus b square okay multiply by cosine zero cosine zero is number one equal to one so my expression I will have one superior equal to a square plus kappa b square I'm going to raise number two as a power so I will have one superior equal to b square so I will have a square plus b square inferior equal to number one okay so now for all numbers a b now I proved the second question which is a square plus b square is inferior or equal to number one okay I have done with this problem in next video I will have the same problem with different methods it's very interesting method because it has a lot of information on it so I would recommend to watch next video okay this is a good place where I can stop thank you for watching I will see you in next video bye